Hello, brothers and sisters. How are you? It's your sister, Princess from Princess Ewika Ministries. I'm here to encourage somebody this early morning to let you know that God loves you. Now, don't ever think that God has abandoned you. Don't ever think that God does not love you. He loves you greatly. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. The word is believe. God just wants you to believe in him and do away with your old ways and follow him and follow his rules and have faith in him. Do away with your old patterns of being in the flesh and begin to walk with God in spirit. John 3, 16 summarizes it for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So I don't know whatever the enemy has thrown at you lately. I don't know whatever situation you have been dealing with. I'm here to tell you right now that Jesus loves you. Who would, who would sacrifice their only son? Would you do that out of love for anybody? I know I wouldn't. But God loved us so much, he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for you and I. So those negative thoughts that you hear in your mind, because of whatever it is that life is throwing at you, telling you that God does not love you, I'm here to let you know that God loves you dearly. He made you in his own image. He created the heavens and the earth. He created night and day. He created the seas and the fishes and the whatever. But when it came to you and I, he took time and made us in his own image. We are the likeness of God. We are the image of God. He loves you dearly, my brothers and sisters. I want you to always have that in your mind. If you look at the book of Psalm, Psalm 8, just read like from 4 to 8. But let me read this to you. Psalm 8, verse 4. He said, what is man that you are mindful of? And the son of man that you visit him. For you have made him a little lower than the angels. And you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. Some Bible book will say, who am I that you are mindful of me? In spite of all my misbehaviors, I sometimes turn away from you. In spite of all my sin, you are still mindful of me. Mindful, to be mindful, to care, to watch over somebody. To be mindful of somebody, to watch over that person, to care, to look out for that person. Who am I that you are mindful of me in spite of all the errors, everything that I do? Sometimes I even turn away from you. Sometimes I say, do not talk to me. I don't want you around me. Yet you are mindful of me. Hebrews 1.7 says, For he makes his angels spirit and his ministers flames of fire. You are a minister of God. You are a minister for Christ. He has made you flames of fire. Begin to utilize that fire. Begin to go to God in prayers. Begin to invoke the blood of Jesus Christ. That fire that God has put in you. Begin to use it to speak great prophecies upon your life. Begin to use it to prophesy good things upon yourself. So when Satan brings those negative thoughts to your heart, you turn around and say, no, that flame of fire that the Lord, our Lord has put in you, you speak with powerful tongues. You speak powerful prophecies. I shall not die but live to declare God's glory. I am well in the name of Jesus Christ. May God bless these words into your heart. If you have not given your life to Christ, I encourage you, please, do so. May the Lord Almighty bless you. May the Lord Almighty guide you. 
when the Lord Almighty grant you peace, when the Lord Almighty grant you joy, when the Lord Almighty walk with you, all he wants is for you to believe, trust in the Lord, and lean not into your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him. I repeat, God's love for you is mighty. God's love for you, it is strong, it is powerful. God's love for you surpasses human love for you. I pray in the Lord, don't marry, bless these words into your heart. Once again, my name is Princess from Princess Seweka Ministry. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube. You can also follow me on Facebook at Holy Spirit Worship. Holy Spirit Worship on Facebook, on YouTube, Princess Seweka Ministry. God bless you. I love you with the love of Christ.